Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So today and tomorrow are going to be busy days on the Sun Coast with people preparing and uh, hopefully finishing up their preparations by the time we get to midday tomorrow, I would say, or, or at the latest tomorrow evening. Because tomorrow night and uh, through Sunday morning, we'll start to see the winds begin to uh, increase significantly. And on Sunday, we have the potential of seeing uh, perhaps even some hurricane force winds, depending on the actual track of the storm. 78 degrees, the current air temperature, dew point the same. It's a humid start to the day. It'll be a warm and hot afternoon. Here we are in the state of Florida, and the forecast track from the Hurricane Center really kind of remains unaltered. Having moved through the Turks and Caicos, this large, massive Category 5 hurricane has undergone a little bit of minor weakening, as we probably are seeing an eyewall replacement cycle within the uh, the core of the storm. 155 mile an hour winds now down five miles per hour since the last uh, since the last report 2 a.m. But um, you know what? That really doesn't make a whole lot of difference. It is very close to being a Category 5 storm and still capable of doing massive amounts of damage to the Bahama Island chain. Central pressure at 925 will likely see some fluctuations in intensity over the next probably 36 hours. But by the time it gets close to the southern tip of the state of Florida on Saturday, early in the morning on Saturday, uh, we are looking at, or Sunday rather, we are looking at uh, a Category 4 storm most likely. Um, and then as it moves on shore, it's going to rapidly decrease in intensity. The reason for that is upper level winds and the friction with the ground surface. Then it moves toward the spine of the state, up towards uh, the border with Georgia, and then further north. The uh, forecast for this storm puts its maximum winds in our area most likely on Sunday, and then uh, on Monday we'll start to see the winds begin to fade as we head through the day. So expect to see some tropical storm force winds or perhaps even hurricane force winds. A lot depends on whether or not this center line track here, which I encourage you not to focus on too closely, moves a little bit closer to the west coast. Because if it does, then we'll have a much bigger problem on our hands here and a much larger storm. If it tracks further towards the east coast, of course, the impacts will be less for us. Right now, storm surge does not appear to be a major problem for us with the last computer runs of uh, some of the slosh models from the National Hurricane Center. Puts our storm surge at around two feet or so, mostly from Venice southward. And there is a surge watch up, a, a, um, a hurricane surge watch up for areas from Venice southward along the coast through Charlotte County and into Lee County. And of course, the hurricane watch up for the entire area, including inland communities as well. Um, the trough of low pressure expected to start lifting this storm northward on Saturday. That'll be a very important day for us as we monitor when this makes its exact turn toward the north. So today, put your personal plan of action into action and make sure that all of your preparations are completed as we head into tomorrow. The winds will start to pick up on Saturday night. A very well-defined eye to the storm, a massive storm, almost 400 miles wide. Its range of influence is large. But if you look at the hurricane force wind forecast, uh, we're about in the 30 percentile range, a little higher than yesterday. Uh, but it's still the tropical storm force winds that have the greatest likelihood of impacting the sun coast. 70% chance of that. And of course, rainfall is something we'll also watch. Along with landfalling hurricanes, we always watch for the possibility of tornadoes as well. This occurring mostly on Sunday and then into Monday. Then the rest of the week will be fine. We'll just be watching very carefully when it makes that right-hand turn on Saturday. Back to you.